right, YouTube. Quick video on the Mavic Pro battery issue. I think it said bad cell, defective battery, broken battery. Anyway, when it's charging, when it's done charging, third light up was flashing after the charging was complete. Uh, my experience with lithium cells, when there's two or more cells, they don't always charge the same and they become unbalanced. Well, these smart batteries have a built-in chip monitoring the cells. And if they become one-tenth of a volt apart from each other, it will not let you fly. There is a simple fix. Cut you an access port. Front side of the battery here, here's the measurement. From this flat edge here to the other flat edge. Looks like, let me see, two inches there. So you take your push, pause, whatever, take your measurement. Top to bottom. Come on. I'll get this in a minute. Can work with the tape measure. And there you go. That's where I cut. Cover it up with something, maybe 3D print a door or just put some paper towel in there. It looks pretty well protected and glued. But anyway, you get that part cut out. This is the balancing port. These wires go to the indicator lights here. Unplug it. Find you a micro plug. I got this off of a little micro switch. It was a three pin. I just cut the last pin off. I just want to monitor one cell at a time. I already went, this one's been balanced. It was one tenth out, said I couldn't fly. Balanced it out this way and flew just like it was a brand new battery. These smart chargers are not that smart. The built-in smart chargers do what they can, but they're not the best. First cell. We'll call that 4.2, well that was point, 4.28, huh? Yeah, we'll get 4.28, a little high, like mine 4.2, that's the rate of voltage per cell. Take this out, go to the next. I always start at the black wire, black, and then red, that's your first cell. Then you move two pins over, or one pin over. That's your second cell. Move another pin over, and that's your third cell. So move to the second cell. Careful not to touch them pins and short it out. So, we'll call that 4.27, very, very close. Like I said, I've, I've balanced this one already, just showing you how I go through it. And it, it 
flew just like a brand new battery was in it. No issues, had good flying time. It's just, you can't rely 100% on this built-in smart charger. Don't get discouraged with your battery. I'm gonna have to take a piece off of this. I'll do it later. Just know lithium needs to be balanced when they have more than one cell around. Last cell. Try not to get too close. some modifications on my plugs it's easier to grab as so coat 4.26 say I want that one to go up to match the other ones don't go buy a lithium battery charger. Just get you a constant current board. You can get these. I built a little 3D printed box, but inside here is just a, a buck boost board, constant current. Got it set for two amps. I set it, say, at 4.29. And short this out, I'll show you the charging amps. Two amps. All right. So you can turn that up if you want, but it really shouldn't go that high. I'm just going high to show you that it will actually charge through this port. Don't ever mess the polarity up. It could be a bad day. All right. She's hooked up because there's not much to gain at the voltage it's at. It's showing a very low amp charge. Let's get the real voltage here. All right, there's my real voltage here. Now if I turn this up, you'll see the increase in amperage. See it or not? We're gonna turn the voltage up, and as you see, the amperage has went up on the charge. Can y'all see that? Turn my light down. Maybe that's better. But that's kind of high on voltage, so. You can do that if you want to get real close to what your other cells are reading. Turn this down. See, as I turn it down to what the voltage already is, the amperage will drop on the charge. So I, I could probably, I could leave that. Well, let me set the voltage again without a load. Okay, it's no longer loaded. This is the voltage it'll charge to. It's not under load. So I could plug that in, leave it on there all night, and eventually, at that real low amperage, she will come back up to 4.29. But that is so close, I'm leaving it alone. Enjoy. Any questions, leave them and I'll try to answer. Good night.